Welcome to Kodama Showcase. Every Tuesday, I show you a, two, a few beautiful koi from Japan and talk about them. Today, I prepared two beautiful Showa. If you like this video, please make sure you share this video with your friends or give me a lot of likes or give me hearts, whatever you can send me. And also like usual, just say hi to me and let me know where you're watching from. It's, it's, it's always fun to go through all the messages after this broadcast. And I'm always surprised to see from some country where I, I never expected. So this is always fun. So it would be nice if you can leave me some comments. What is Showa? Showa is a variety of koi that has three colors. And this is definitely one of the most popular variety. It's also called Gosanke. Group. So Gosanke includes Kohaku, Sanke, Showa. And I don't know, I don't talk much about Gosanke today, but if you are interested, I have a really good uh, video on YouTube. I'm going to attach the link to the description. So if you're interested in learning what is Gosanke, you know, uh, take a look and learn about Gosanke. For Showa, when I look at the Showa, I always check four things. One, breeder. Two, body conformation. Three, quality. And four, pattern. Talking about, the, you know, I always, in, in this video, I always talk about the importance of finding out who is a breeder. But for the Gosanke, for Showa, Kohaku, Sanke, finding out who is a breeder is very important because the bloodline really, you know, is what we need to rely on for the future potential. In this case, this is Isa Koi Farm, one of the most famous breeder in the world. So, which is good. And then we look at the body conformation. In general, we just want to make sure that there is no deformity, you know, how, what the size of the head, how the body line, how the tail joint, how the thickness. So that's what we're going to look at. And for the quality, we look at the quality of the shiroji. Shiroji means white. He or beni, that means red. And sumi, sumi means black. So we look at those three, the quality of those three colors. And then we look at the pattern. You know, again, this is a koi with three colors. We like to see a beautiful combination, a beautiful harmony of the three colors on one koi. So now let's talk, let's uh, take a look, closer look at the show up. Now this is, again, this is the Isha Showa. This is about 18 inches now. If you look at this Showa, you know, the body is nice, you know, nice side of the head. The body line is good. The tail joint is good. If you look at the Benny, nice, nice and thick. Uh, and especially, I want to. I want you to look at the sumi. Look at the sumi. How well the sumi finishes. It's lacquer black. Beautiful. And I like this pattern. Although the sumi is so heavy, it doesn't look too heavy because of the white. You know, this one has a really nice white on the face. Pectoral fins. You know, nice white in between. And especially, most importantly, the odome. It ends with the white. Well, the sumi will still come up over here. So it begins with the with white and ending with white. That's a really beautiful package of the three colors. And let me tell you again, the odome. The odome, is, the odome means the tail joint or tail stop. How the pattern stops on the tail section. That is always important. You know, the odome could complete the beauty or improve the, enhance the beauty of the koi. Or it could also ruin the beauty of the koi. So how the pattern stops on the tail joint is very critical. Now let's look at the, the second one. I picked this one because this is so different from the first one. See the body, this one is larger, maybe like 18, 19 inches. Of course, female. The body line is very smooth. I see no problem with the, with the pattern, with, with the body. And the, uh, the shiroji, you can see the white is really nice white. And the beni. It's, it's lighter, but it's very consistent. That's important. At this point, we don't really care how thick, how red it is or how light the red is. It doesn't really matter as long as it is consistent. And now I want you to look at this, the sumi quality. I know it's not finished like the first one, but if you look at the sumi over here, look at, look at the each scale of the sumi. Look at this reticulation over here. This is definitely an indication of a high quality sumi. And I know it's not finished yet, but looking at its sibling, or look, look, knowing the breeder, knowing the bloodline, we know the black is going to come out eventually. Now the pattern. 
again pattern is very different if you look at this coin it's the red is so heavy on the first half but there are almost there is no red on the second half when you look at this pattern you may think that it's not really good pattern and if it is kohaku i agree with you you know there is no red it looks too unbalanced it's not balanced at all however this is showa what's good about showa is the sumi you know when the sumi comes in and it fills the space it could form a beautiful pattern just picture that this all the semi finishes here and it's gonna be beautiful and let me show you this because when I first this koi it really reminds me of one grand champion from Dainichi Koi farm its nickname is Sakura let me show you this picture I'm sure you have seen this this is a beautiful Showa that won the grand champion many years ago and if you look at this, you know the red is so heavy on the first half, almost no red over here. And when this coin was young, there was, those Sumi was there, just like her, but it was not finished at all, like her. But once all the Sumi finishes, all the pattern fills in, all the spaces on the, on the white, with the quality and with the pattern, she definitely won, you know, for that, she won the grand champion. So I believe this is a show one definitely had a great potential to be like sakura talk a little bit more about isa koi farm isa koi farm is definitely one of my favorite uh, breeder because of his passion his passion is to pursue the one that's the company motto he wants to win the grand champion he wants to breed a koi that can win the grand champion at the old japan koi at the old japan koi show i always think that koi is a reflection of breeder's passion when the breeder is so passionate about breeding high quality like grand champion koi his koi will keep improving and every year when you go back you can see a beautiful koi and when the breeder is aiming at somewhere middle or mid, mid core uh, quality koi you know you can always get the mid quality quality uh, mid, mid, uh, medium quality koi so in that sense you know he, he, I think this is why Isa Koi Farm always impressed me every year when I visit him and his koi is always popular not only in the, in the United States but also the worldwide inside Japan Europe Asia his his show is always uh, always popular so again you know those two koi are available on my website and I'm gonna attach the link to to the pages so take a look at uh, I'm gonna attach the link uh, on the description so take a close look at this call if you have any questions you can message me or you can email me at sales at kodamakoi.com this is a beautiful this is a two beautiful isa show two different type of isa show up available for you and enjoy them in your pond okay so thank you very much for watching and again please share this video if you like this uh, or give me leave me any questions or comments I would appreciate it thank you very much for watching I'll see you next Tuesday bye bye arigatou